April uh, 24, that would be uh, 11 o'clock in the morning, we will be activating the last or the 67th municipality of the region of Caraga, which is the municipality of Pilar in the island of Siargao, the province of Surigao del Norte. I am very much honored with your presence today. And just in case any uh, queries that you want to know from us, if not only from me, you want to learn or to know from our regional uh, admin officer, our DRDA, Super Senior Superintendent Peter Sean Anthony Atop, as well as in the operations aspect, Senior Superintendent Michael Melchor Soler Comperada. So with that, I am uh, very excited for the long day of a countdown actually we started 30 days na lang mag activated na lahat ng municipal fire station ng Karagan now it's only 5 days remaining we will be preparing ourselves and in fact in advance the uh, the venue is ready the fire station as well as the fire truck is already installed in the municipality of Pilar so i now entertain questions first um Friday, uh, good morning. Kindly uh, introduce Oleta. Uh, I, I'm Gay Chu of uh, RMN, Surigao. Yes, uh, uh, gusto ko lang i-clarify, ilan na talaga ang uh, mga masasabi nating uh, fire station uh, uh -huh. all over Karaga? At uh, ilan dito, uh, kompleto na ba ang uh, mga kalung, uh, kamunsipiwan o lungsod ng uh, Surigao din? Uh, yes, uh, nice question. Uh, sa ating data, Sa buong Karaga, we have 67 and currently, we have 66 activated, remaining one, which is the municipality of, uh, of Pilar. So all in all, we will be realizing all cities as well as municipalities, we have an activated fire station. Under the law in the Republic Act 6975, all municipalities and cities should have their own respective fire station. We dream of this so long when I assumed my post. Now is the time for us that maybe the first region to have all fire stations are activated. During the visit of our good chief of the BFP of the Bureau of Fire Protection, Fire Director Luis Oralta Puracan, he mentioned uh, during one of the uh, activate of the you know, uh, of the blessing of the fire station, there are still 138 municipalities in the entire country not yet activated. In our region, we were able to complete this coming Monday in uh, the island of Siargao. I still invite you there to witness that momentous event. It will be witnessed by the different provincial fire marshals of this region. So I am very proud to announce to everyone that our beloved region, Caraga, is completed sa fire station po. With corresponding fire trucks and fire station. That's good to hear, uh, RD. Um, kumusta ang sa Surigao? The last time we had a, a press con, you, you, you mentioned na ang city government uh, nagbibigay ng isang uh, ano to, uh, lote uh, for, for the regional office? Yes, uh, I will answer with that. Like, supposedly, I have to uh, tell you on the latter part. But anyway, since this question is raised, uh, happy to announce also that this our current regional director's office that we are residing, uh, we might so soon be having our uh, the, 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 the commencement of uh, of uh, the construction of the fire station of the regional office here in Surigao City, situated particularly in uh, in Barangay Luna, uh, that is uh, near the airport right now, and that is a 3,000 square meter. It has been uh, already uh, donated to the Bureau of Fire Protection, and in a, in a while, there are some congressmen in our region have pledged their commitment to involve in their uh, in their budget by next year for the construction of the said edifice that we are aiming for this area is uh, for me not suitable it's still uh, uh, a little bit a small area for us so with that 3000 square meters we can realize the uh, modern regional office to be erected so soon thank you Pwede ba natin i-elaborate yung, uh, just a briefer, yung uh, upcoming natin na uh, opening, uh, launching or, or opening ng uh, fire stations? Yes, uh, once again, uh, our formal activation of the last municipality of Caraga region, the municipality of uh, Pilar in the island of Siargao in the province of Surigao del Norte, we will be activating that on Monday. 
that would be April 24, 11 o'clock in the morning to be witnessed by the different provincial fire marshals and uh, the local officials of the municipality of Pilar. It finds us, uh, you know, we, we find difficulty in convincing our local chief executives to invest more solely on uh, the fire safety. It is a must, you know, so many times and the many experience that these uh, remaining actually 10 municipalities we activated under our care we find difficulties every time there were fire incident because it has just been clustered by the nearby municipality but now since we are expected to deliver our fire call responses with a minimum of five to seven minute period kailangan dapat ando ng fire truck natin matutugunan na po yun kasi hindi na tayo masisisi kasi meron na talagang fire station sa lahat ng mga bayan dito sa ating region. I hope that answer your question. Sir, question from Ma'am Sol Teros. Yes, Ma'am Sol. Sir, good, uh, good morning. Sir, magkano ba ang uh, budget sa structure that you got sa pillar? Well, uh, sa ngayon, ang pillar, initially, we will, we, we will just uh, be dwelling in a temporary area in the area but we have also a uh, a fire truck uh, then uh, installed in that municipality like we did uh, before also in the island of Siarga which is municipality of Burgos we did that the same thing kasi ang kailangan talaga we have to activate in order for the national government to supplement the uh, the requirement for us to supply the the uh, uh, like sa Burgos 7.2 million for the construction of the fire station wherein we will also be having our groundbreaking and as well as the provision of the brand new fire truck recently we were able to acquire 37 brand new fire trucks in the region included na yun lahat po ang mga pating Burgos uh, in just walang isang taon sawa po at sa katulong ng ating butihing uh, uh, kalihim ng Department of Interior and Local Government Attorney uh, Benjamin Abalos Jr. and the Chief of the BAP Dire Fire Director Luis Uralta Puracan mabilis po naabot ang tulong sa mga far-flung areas na ito sabihin ko sa inyo mga bayan na malalo impossible to bear and to, to acquire pero nothing is impossible with him so, to our uh, Almighty Father Burgos napakalayong isla Socorro, imagine ang Socorro na isla yon sa Surigao del Norte. Ang fire truck doon sa kanila yung donate noon. Ngayon nilagyan natin, nakatapos lang natin, wala pang isang buwan. We were able to uh, activate, uh, to, to have a blessing of the fire, 10 million fire station and uh, turnover of the brand new fire truck in that island. Imagine, as I have said, to the regions beyond, lahat kami, we must go. We must go where the stories has never been told. And this story of now you are the living witnesses with your support, beloved friends from the media, that we were able to realize the full completion of uh, the activation of all the municipal fire stations. So uh, we will wait uh, after we activate. We have already made necessary arrangements so that we can have the uh, request for the construction of the new fire station and acquisition of the fire truck. Uh, we can have that because as of this present, we are waiting by the month of June, by God's grace, there will be another uh, uh, sets of uh, fire trucks to be uh, turned over at the national headquarters. More than 100 brand new fire trucks. I pray that this uh, municipality of Pilar will be included. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Uh, Sir, congratulations na makompleto na niya ang mga municipal fire station na sa Rigao. So, unsa mga yung pinaka-highlights sa uh, pagpatawag press kung karoon sa mga media, sir? This is one. Uh -huh. This is one wherein uh, we should be proud of our region. As I said, even the good chief of actor that there are still 137 recently municipality in the entire country with no fire station and fire truck, with no activated, hindi na-activate pa ng mga municipality. Ang dami. Pero natin dito sa tulungan po ng ating mga local officials sa pagtulong nila, sa pag-assist na uh, they will have to invest that at kailangan. They said going to be an eye-opener for everyone. We will no longer wait for time comes that there would be conflagration that we can put the blame on anyone else because already is being at stake there, e attuned to the BFP modernization. Talagang lahat po ng bayan at lahat po ng mga siyudad or lungsod ay bibigyan po ng mga fire truck. Yun talaga ang trust ng national government. Sinunod po natin ang uh, instruction na yun nagawa natin dito. And one of that also, again binanggit ko na kanina, our region was able to acquire 37 brand new fire trucks. Nakakuha po tayo na ganung karami. 
na mga bagong fire truck uh, ranging from 11 to 12 million ang presyo no napakalaki po almost 1 billion acquired by uh, the regional office the Caraga and thank you again to the uh, talagang pasensya kayo makulit ako sa ating mga bilabid congressman sa mga district araw-araw at remind ko sabi ko may fire truck doon palo up mo doon tulungan mo dito ang ating bayan kasi ang hirap Socorro Burgos may sunog anong gagawin namin tatawid kami dito magdala ng fire truck doon hindi they are solely independent. We need to put up these fire stations and to acquire fire trucks for them. How about sa recruitment, sir, sa mga person? Recruitment, we are glad to announce ongoing process. Meron tayo sa baba na mga naga, naga, this is the penultimate day supposedly. Tomorrow will be the deadline for the first stage, which is the submission of their uh, folders, the requirements for this uh, pro uh, recruitment. We have 99 quota out of the, of the 2,000 uh, 2,000 uh, national quota, Akaraga region is uh, given that 99 slots. And further to stress with that, the current uh, firefighters sa buong region, sa 2020 na ating statistics na data, na population of 2.8 million, ang ating ideal ratio na fireman, one fireman is to 2,000 population. So, one fireman is to 2,000 population. Ang kailangan ng region kung 2.8 is 1,400 firefighters. With this 1,400 firefighters, currently, we have 1,245. Meron na lang tayong kulang 155 para matugunan ang uh, ideal ratio. With this current recruit na 99, ang maiwan na lang po na, na, na slot na lang is, uh, uh, shall I say, 56 next year it would be attainable 56 and anticipating for the 16 retireable for this year we need only 72 the list number of 99 will suffice enough maybe by next year kompleto na rin po ang ating uh, ang ating region sa ganyang uh, uh, data na yun. aside from that this 2 million 800 population ang ideal ratio ng isang fire truck Sa isang pop, sa, sa population, one fire truck is to 28,000. Alam nyo, ang kailangan natin dito, we need only 100 fire trucks. But you know how many fire trucks we have now? Because with this recent 37 we occurred, we have 150. We exceeded, but still we are not contented and satisfied considering that this old dilapidated fire trucks, 40 years old, kailangan natin ang next step ng government Pag malagyan ng lahat ng mga municipality ng mga bagong fair truck, isunod na po palitan ang mga luma na ito. In fact, we are trying to have to convene with with our uh, members here of uh, uh, the back to consider of those uh, for or beyond economic repair. Kasi i-repair natin kung masira, then wala na rin yan. We will make priority and line up if how many ang kailangan palitan na ng mga lumang mga fire trucks. So, recruitment 99, we have our Facebook uh, account as well as we have already uh, uh, furnished or we have already uh, uh, uploaded the uh, calendar of activities. And we pray, as I mentioned earlier, supposedly the deadline of folders tomorrow which happen or coincide, it is a holiday, but still we will cater it here. And we are waiting for the instruction from the NHQ that the... Uh, the uh, extension for the submission of folders will still be uh, uh, accommodated or entertained by our regional office. Uh, last na lang sir. Yes ma'am. Ito nakita, nagkainit na ang panahon. Uh, pila ka, ito makita sa Facebook na daghay na sunog, particular sa Cebu, sa Cagayan, ng Uban pa. O sa inyong mga preparation, sanan pila ka sunog ang naitala karun na bulat or sa March? Can you answer Arda? Do, do we have data? Uh, I can answer yes, but sir. I will give the floor. It, it, it would be okay? Uh, yes, uh, okay. okay, thank you sir. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, sir. Actually, I have a list of comparative report for three years. And since you've been asking for this month, actually, di lang, di lang month na ano to, from January to April 18, 2023. So there, there are different listings no? from structural fire, which is uh, when you say structural fire, there is residential. Uh, mercantile and industrial and the uh, non-structural fire, the grass fire or the rubbish fire. So uh, as of this um, January, February, March, April, four months um, so structural fire there are 74 incidents there are 74 incidents and so 
Nine structural fire, um, there are only 12. That's whole karaga, sir. Whole karaga, ma'am. And, um, my question is, well, uh, to, 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 to sum it up, I would like to uh, transparently tell everyone that compared to last year, from January to April, uh, there is an increase in the number of fire incidents. So the reason why I'm saying this is so that we should be more vigilant. I am urging the community to be more vigilant and always observe the fire safety. The reminders as well as the education that has been uh, instituted and uh, done by our different fire stations nakikita naman sa Facebook at umiikot ang ating mga firefighters. We could not control uh, the occurrences of fire. But admittedly, merong increase ang ating uh, number of fires eh, compared to last year. And uh, that is a nice observation by our good ARDO. Yes, sir. So what's the cause of uh, the mga cause ng mga Our causes fire? of fire. Um, there are three major causes of fire incidents that happen here in Caraga. So there are only top, top three of uh, As of this year, um, the number one uh, reason for fire incidents is the electrical connection. So number two is the unattended cooking or stove. So, actually, kada ng karon ng panahon init, then usually magluto luto, sig sugoon magpalit, na masundog ang one. Well, then lastly, ang spontaneous combustion. When you say spontaneous combustion, actually it is a self heating with apparent, without apparent cause. So, murag masundog nasa sa init mamba. So probably just what like ha what took place or happened sa good one. Um, like Henry Chu. Uh, motto yung uh, findings uh, is spontaneous combustion. Well, ito siya mama. Um, Dili pa ito siya final report, pero mula ito na ito ba, okay? Balay sa Akuan, it was already very old, 1960s pa. Then, may mga things na nagibili nito, so mula ito nasunog. So, so mula itong top three causes of fire mo. Well, uh, tama yan. And for the benefit of everybody, why I am saying this, uh, keep on saying to have the safety reminders to our stakeholders as well as the community. I want to impart to everyone that we have, out of those fire incidents, we have top three na nag-increase din po ang estimated damage. Yung damage to the properties. We have one in Butuan in uh, 2021 amounting to 39 million, imagine. We have one in uh, the year 2022, which is in uh, SDN in uh, Barangay, Washington. We have uh, estimated damage of 26,400,000 uh, ang damage. And lastly, uh, lately nito ng 2023, we have in uh, uh, municipality of Barubu, which is uh, 4 million. I'll give you the details later. It's very uh, long for me to explain and to sp specify what specific uh, uh, fire incidents occurred and what transpired. But all in all, to sum it up, uh, 39, 26, and 4 million. So that would be a, a, a 69 million damage of properties from 2021 to 2023. So we hope uh, somehow dito ang pinakamalaking na 4 million pa ngayong taon. I hope that uh, wala nang masyadong malalaki na sunog pa sa kababayan ito kung minsan sa sinabi electrical, uh, open flames, mga nagluluto at saka iba pang mga dahilan ng sunog. Kaya mag-ingat tayo. Okay. Uh, 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 Ari, balik tayo. Pwede balik tayo sa report. Ito bang... Uh, going natin na report. Pagkatapos nito, kailan mag-umpisa yung uh, training nila at mga ilang months? Uh, would you uh, permit that our good Arda will uh, answer yes. that question? Thank you so much. Yes, thank, please, sir. thank you so much for that question, ma'am. Uh, I want to uh, emphasize na ongoing yung recruitment process natin. Uh, as of this time, we have a total of, uh, as of yesterday, uh, 5 p.m., we have a total of 770 applicants for the entire region submitted their, their application folders here in the regional office. We have uh, disseminated our calendar of activities online for them to know the exact uh, day, the exact time of the uh, activity because along the way, they have their individual performances to be evaluated like the uh, physical agility test, the neuro examination, we have the panel interview. Lahat na yan ay indicated yun sa mga uh, calendar of activities natin. At ang ano natin, uh, anticipated natin na calendar of activities on their outtaking will be on July 3. After that July 3, on that day, 
ay dire-diretso na po yung orientation program nila sa lahat ng makukuha natin at matatanggap na 99 new uh, fire officer 1 mag-undergo sila ng orientation program. This orientation program is been uh, the part and parcel of our fire basic recruit course. Inuuna lang po natin yung 45 days to 60 days na orientation program. It's for them to be deployed right, right after their orientation program. Pero kaltas na po yan doon sa ano nila, sa basic training na gagawin. It's either uh, uh, within, within Mindanao area. As of yesterday, sir, ilan na po ba ang ano, nag-apply? 770 and still counting. Yeah, imagine for that. Huh? Well, during the visit of the Chief BFP, as I mentioned earlier, there are only 2,000 uh, uh, quota for this year. We are expecting a more than 50,000 applicants. So that's hard. Uh, that's how very tough is uh, the recruitment process. With this 99 quota of ours, we have already a number of 770. And we are trying to... Uh, to uh, filter it out as well as to con take consideration as to what specific uh, quality or material of applicants that we are going to prioritize. As of this 1,245 population of firefighters, ang pinakamaraming uh, uh, korso sa 1,045 mga criminologists, they are a 70, 17% for this total population. The second one, is elementary education that is a 13%. The number three is 11%, which is the uh, nursing, BSN, among nurses natin. Uh, then we have engineers, 8%, 5% for the secondary education. So we will now try to check kung ano ang pinakakailanganin natin lahat ngayon. So sinabi ko kanina, ang top list, criminologist. They have uh, a lesser, a lesser uh, probability of making it. We need more engineers for the safety inspection that with that uh, uh, vast uh, knowledge on, on how on the structures itself, some uh, fire safety inspections natin. Even lectures, marami natin teachers ngayon, elementary and pra, uh, secondary teachers pumasok na rin sa atin dito. So uh, we have published already the list of requirements and it took me again too long to elaborate or to, to uh, enumerate those uh, requirements and uh, I know for sure that uh, we are, they are guided, our applicants, on the calendar of activities and uh, presumably once you have, you have got there, you have submitted your folder, then uh, you're considered to be qualified but we have to screen, to make necessary screening. This is now the uh, dilemma of our Bureau of Fire Protection, not only particularly for Caraga region because uh, we are still on this, uh, there are issues like kind of with those uh, uh, waivers in terms of height and in terms of age. You know before, pag ikaw ay male, dapat 5'4". Pag ikaw ay female, dapat 5'2". Now comes the Citizens Republic Act 10, 10 5, 8, 9. If I'm not mistaken, or 11589, uh, or 489 rather, 11489, wherein ang babae, ay five, ang pinaka list na yon ang height, ang sa lalaki is 5'2". But still, we have still uh, waivers for that matter. Kaya uh, we give back to the national headquarters wisdom as to select, kasi we will give you course to those who are more competent and have reached that minimum requirement. Kaya ito ngayon ang ating uh, titingnan na uh, full consideration. Aside from that, of this 1,245, we have 315 are female. So, 1,245. That comprises a 25% more than that of that population. Now, the instruction, we need to get only at least sana 10% pinaka-maximum na out of this 99, maybe 9 or 10 ang female na kukunin natin. We do hope that we can do with that kasi we have the ranking process eh. Pinirarank din natin at sometimes and many times in our recruitment it comes out that the female are more performers. Uh, sa ranking ha, sa data namin but I don't know but this is now the the, the guidance of the NHQ we, we have to abide that uh, uh, supposedly pag uniform personnel it should be only a 10% female. Eh ngayon, sobra na tayo. Kung ipasok pa natin kahit ang 10 ngayon, 
kung 25% next year or pagtapos sila mag-take off, maging 24% pa rin ang female ng population natin. I do not uh, discourage so I do not uh, undermine ano, natin ang mga disregard ng female natin. Pero yun ang guidance ng ating national headquarters. Sir Benji, yeah. Uh, uh, sir, regarding sa Bureau of Private Protection, not only in this one, no? they will also respond to the emergency like uh, accident, they fill up. Yeah. So most of the uh, Bureau of Private Protection, nga dagay mga accident is Alegria, based on my uh, uh, information gathered, no, Alegria is the more accident happen. So, sa uban nga mga fire, station, doon na sila yung mga ambulance siya kung sa katinoon. Pero ang Bureau of Fire Protection sa Alegria is walay ambulance siya. So, first responder is Bureau of Fire Protection. Yes. So, ang inarang nyo na ang tatang butangan po sila dito ambulance siya. Kaya mura, ay accident din dito may natapok. Well, uh, napaganda. Yan ang isa ngayon, ang pinakamachallenge natin kasi during the visit of our Chief BFP, he also mentioned that in this modernization, five year we have started our five-year modernization, which is, uh, or 10-year rather, 10-year modernization amounting to 50 billion budget approved already by the national government we have now implement. Within five years, ang gusto niya mangyari, lahat po ng mga bayan, katulad sa fire truck, meron na bagong ambulance. Glad to announce that Caraga region, we have just acquired, isa tayo sa pinakamarami ha, na region ulit, seven brand, brand new ambulances stationed most of them in Surigao del Sur and others in uh, even in Butuan as well as Higaket. We have one in uh, SDN. So soon we can realize that sir, attuned to our uh, vision and mission of this uh, BFP, not only related to fire incidents that we are performing, we are doing the rescue operations, even respond to emergency, uh, provide emergency and medical services and rescue and other man-made calamities by Sunog, May lindol, na mangyayari, frontliner as they say, BFP po ang binigyan ng mandate ngayon. Kaya yan ang malaking challenge. Sumobrang fire truck, ang tao, 72 na lang ang kulang. What we need now is more equipment and more suitable trainings para po handa ang ating BFP sa ating hinahangad na modernisasyon. Any more? Yes sir. Hi, so you're referring to the transfer of the regional office. Uh, we have already made our signing of memorandum or the the uh, yung, uh, date of donation of the 3,000 square meter lot I mentioned in Barangay Luna. Uh, I have already uh, uh, made a decision to uh, pursue our regional office in your beloved city of uh, Surigao with the permission coming from the different lawmakers here. As agreed in the creation of Caraga region way back in the year 1995, BFP supposedly is situated in Surigao City, in this uh, Surigao del Norte. So I am happy with the support of our beloved Honorable Mayor uh, Ibs uh, Dumlao he uh, offered the 3,000 square meter for our regional office. And this edifice that we are residing now will be converted into an office of the Provincial Fire Marshal for Surigao del Norte. Is that uh, the sat satisfying or question? Yes, so you have now the peace of mind. We have our <laughs> regional office here and continue to be your public servants. And uh, whatever things that you want to need from us in terms of manpower, we are here and everything that we can help and we can extend according to the length or the longest length of our cable post. Sir, a question from Bukuranjo, sir. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yes, sir. Uh, 